Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the Milwaukee M18 tire inflator. Um, so this thing has just been awesome so far. Um, it's made by Milwaukee. Um, the way it's powered is by Milwaukee batteries. Um, so if you're already using a Milwaukee system, um, it will save you some cost because the battery, then you won't have to buy the batteries as well. Um, these are the six amp hour batteries that I use with this thing. Um, the five O's would also be plenty of power. Um, I think the really small ones probably wouldn't be quite enough to do your whole vehicle. Um, but anything from probably the three amp hour and up is going to be plenty for this thing. Um, when I am filling up, so I run 35s on my truck. I typically only air down to like 20 PSI and then I'm going back up to 35. Um, when I air all four of my tires from 20 back up to 35, this thing will usually only drop one bar, um, sometimes two out of the four. So really, you got tons of capacity with this thing. Um, I have used some other options as well that I'll show you just to kind of give reference. Um, one of which was a 12 volt version that I got from Harbor Freight. Um, and really this thing's pretty awesome, um, but I'll tell you why I like the Milwaukee better. But this is just kind of your standard 12 volt compressor has a big hose that comes with it. Um, and then this is the actual compressor itself. And really, if this is what you're looking for um, and you want something that plugs right into your vehicle, this has been pretty good. Um, so you'd hook those right onto your battery in your car. Um, and then this pump works pretty well. As long as you're only doing one vehicle, it doesn't get too hot. No matter what, this thing is gonna get really hot. The Milwaukee does not get hot. Um, and then this just plugs in. The gauge is not accurate. Um, so you're using an, an external gauge to make sure that your PSI is right because this thing is not spot on by any means. Um, but for a 12 volt compressor that's not as expensive as like some of the ARB ones and stuff, um, I do like this one. Um, it's been pretty good. One other option that I've tried is this Amazon one made by Avid Power. Um, these are just Chinese ones that have a couple different options. Kind of looks just like a cordless drill, um, but it has the tire attachment to it. Um, and it, it does have an LED display on the back that kind of gives you an indicator of tire PSI. Um, the Harbor Freight version doesn't let you set a, a, a set PSI. You can just set it up and go, but then you have to pay attention to what your PSI is at and the gauge is inaccurate. The gauge is at least accurate on this. Um, and you can set the PSI you were going to. So if you're set, uh, filling up to 35 PSI, you can set this to 35 and then it will stop when it's done. Um, it comes with one battery pack that you can charge um, as well as a power adapter that plugs in and then plugs into um, either a uh, 110 um, or a 12 volt connection. So that could plug right into your vehicle. Um, but this thing just doesn't really have the, the output to fill up um, enough tires. So if you were like occasionally topping off one tire that was low um, or helping someone on the side of the road put air into a spare tire or something, then this would get the job done. It would get the job done, but it's gonna take a long time. So um, a couple weekends ago, we were testing a Ram TRX on some off-road courses we air, it's on 37s. We aired down um, to about uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 PSI, and then we're airing back up to about 38 afterwards. Um, we put this one on one of the front tires and started it going. Um, we put, we used the Milwaukee to fill up the others, and I was able to fill up all three of the other tires before this one even finished. And then we still had to take this one off and I had to finish um, that, that last fourth tire with the Milwaukee one. So that's how much faster something like this is than these Chinese options. Um, this couldn't even fill up one tire in the time that this one was able to do three. So those are some other options I've had experience with. But let me tell you why this one is so amazing. Um, it it's, is faster than that Harbor Freight option I showed you. Um, but not by a lot because those ones are actually pretty fast. You're just dealing with it getting really hot, an inaccurate gauge, um, and it's 
having wires and cables all over the place. So this thing is cordless because the only thing you have to do is this small little air hose that plugs into the tire and then you can just easily move it from each tire on your vehicle. Um, the electronics on this thing are great. So let me put a battery in here. Batteries plug in really easy. Um, the other thing too is, is, is with the 6.0, I've never had to put in extra batteries, but if you were for some reason filling up a lot of vehicles, um, you could just plug in another battery right away. Um, but this thing turns on, has a really nice um, screen to it, has different warning gauges. Um, if this thing were to get too hot, it has a, an indicator that tells you to, to let it cool down. Um, it's very accurate um, and it has four different memory settings. So you can choose between one through four on the memory settings and in those memory settings you can set what the PSI is at. So because when I fill up, I fill back up to 35 PSI on memory one, all I gotta do is hit memory one and hit go and this thing starts right up and brings it right to a perfect PSI. Um, it's super nice because then you can just plug it in, um, go sit back in your vehicle um, and wait um, until it fills up and then go switch it around to all four tires. So um, this one has been just so much better um, being more cordless. I actually air down more often now because I know it's even easier to be able to move this thing around than it was um, a 12 volt version from any of those other companies. So um, this thing has been really great, still fits well behind the seat in my truck um, and has been a great addition in letting us air down and have a more comfortable ride and, and better off-road quality on our vehicle. So again, that's made from Milwaukee. It's the M18 tire inflator. They do make um, one for their M12 battery system that I have not tried, but I know that this one really does a good job. So let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments and I appreciate you watching.